What is up, YouTube? This is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another showdown Vega Wi Fi battle video. Remember, if you end up liking this video, you have to like the video, obviously, and then subscribe for more videos in the near future. College has been crazy, I've been really busy. And I just had no time to work on YouTube videos for a little bit there. But here I am. I am making this video for you guys. Hope you like it. If you don't, I don't understand life. But anyway, so if you did not see the last video, I would recommend that you don't watch this one yet. And then just go back to the other video, watch that, and then come back here. Because we have a new team. Well, it's the same team as last video. I just kind of revamped a little bit. I added new sets to the same Pokemon. I also added some new members to kind of make it more interesting. So with that, with that said, actually, um, if you don't want to hear me out on this analysis portion of the video, there should be an annotation in the description description, check that out, uh, that'll take you straight to the battle, if you don't want to hear me out, that is. Alright, so with that, with that said, let's get started. So we have Kabutops yet again, but this time instead of Siltox, he's giving me a sword dance, Kabutops. And the reason behind it is going to be because in a secondary Pokemon, you can see a little bit of him there, but... I decided to kind of make Kabutops more offensively orientated. And we see Swords Dance, Aqua Jet, Stone Edge, and Knock Off here holding the Lumberry. And you recall that Hitmontop was holding the, um, the Lumberry. So, and there you have that. And then, um, 252 attack, 252 speed for in special defense, swift swim for some reason, I guess, because if anyone wants to set up the rain, Kabutops is there to take advantage of it. And then the second Pokemon, the second Pokemon, if I can say it, I'm a little bit tired, uh, please forgive me. Uh, Torterra, yes, I have not used Torterra in forever. He's giving me a bulky set with Stealth Rock, Synthesis, Woodhammer, and Earthquake. So we basically took Kabutops last video, make him offensive, get a different Pokemon that will set up Stealth Rocks. And then you have a grass, water, and a fire core, I guess. Because I think I used that in the last video, but it was just different. But I think this one will be better, in my opinion. You can argue me on that one, but it is whatever. And the AV spread for him, Torterra, is a little bit weird, but we'll see how that goes. Mass HP, a lot of, a lot of uh, defenses here. Defense and special defense. And then... Attack, why not? Because we see Woodhammer and Earthquake. Because they can actually do damage, if you know what I'm saying. But um, we see Arcanine there. That's my third choice. And we didn't really change Arcanine much. She has Floreblitz, Extreme Speed, Close Combat, and Morning Sun for recovery. And then we just gave him some bulk and HP. The rest of it is just the norm, but you know, that is what it is. He's holding the life orb there, and we see Reaclus being the same Reaclus as last video. He has Calm Mind, Psychic, Shadow Ball, and Recover, and the EV spread is there. Not, I mean, it's not too complicated to figure out. Okay, these are the two that I wanted to make sure that I add to this team. We can see Crobat, with Black Sludge, Infiltrator, Taunt, Sludge Bomb, Roost, and Defog. So this is a reliable check to me and to the rest of the Pokemon field. That might be a little bit confusing because I said it wrong. Gosh darn it. So Defog, yes, it gets rid of all the left or all the entry hazards. God. Dang it, I'm tired. Uh, but we'll, we'll get it through. Defog gets rid of all the energy hazards. Yes, I know. But if I'm pressured enough to use it, I'll use it. 
a sludge bomb. And you're like, you're like, well, you know, special attack is not very bright in Krovac's case. I know that. I just wanted to make this a, a very unique Corvette set. So just by surprising people, I can actually do something with Corvette. Because I don't want to use Brave Bird. I don't want to use Cross Poison. We might as well use Sludge Bomb, okay? So, and then, you know, Taunt is there to stop users from setting up. And if they do end up setting up, that's why we have Defog and then Roost Up. We have Roost. Roost up, that would have been a much better choice, but Roost is there to recover. I have a lot of recovery Pokemon, that's kind of interesting, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so we have Zerkatry, Choice Specs, he's our Ultra Beast, he has the Beast Boost ability to prove it, and then Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, Hidden Power Ice, and Volt Switch. So that is the standard Zerkatry that we see here. Yes, and I am actually looking forward to using Zerkatry because he's a really cool Pokemon. And I've actually used him a few times. Very reliable. All right, so that is my analysis. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, we have Kabutops, Perkara, Arcanine, Rayaclis, Crobat, and Zerkatry. I hope you guys enjoyed the video or the rest of the video for that matter. And uh, let's go to the battle. All right, here we go. Okay, you guys, so this is the battle. If you skipped to this portion, we have a Swords Dance Kabutops, a Defensive Torterra, a Offensive Arcanine. So, you know, Arcanine, Torterra, and Kabutops make a great core all in one. A Calm Mind Lunaclus, a very interesting Crobat, which... You know, it makes it interesting because Sludge Bomb and Taunt and Defog and Roost. So all that was kind of, you know, this is a unique Crobat. I don't know how well he'll function in this video. He actually does something in this video. So there you have it. And then we have Zerkatry. Zerkatry is our Ultra Beast, the electric type one, who is... I believe Choice Specs, if I recall, saying that in the analysis. But if you didn't watch it, then, you know, there you have it. There's a Choice Specs whole to beast for you. And if you see, you see this. This is my opponent's team. He's got Greninja. Hopefully it's not his, you know, the, what is it, the protein Greninja. Uh, I hope it's current. You see Gayasi, Magnezone. And we also have Mozell, Magirna, and Langarus, they in form. This should be interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change this to normal speed. And we're going to play this. I will stop to make note of certain plays. Um, we're going to see Magirna start out. And I'm going to start out with Torterra because I figured Torterra would be able to set up Stealth Rocks. Now we see Floor Cannon. I don't think I've ever seen that move before. My guess is that it's brand new. But we do set up Stealth Rocks here. And I know I put some special defense EVs onto Torterra. This will allow me to survive the Floor Cannons and then just go for Synthesis. Now Magirna is withdrawn and my opponent actually goes into Diancy on the Earthquake. I don't know why. Probably expecting a grass type move or something weird. I don't know. If if I were the opponent, I would have gone into probably Langarus. He does go into Langarus. He goes for Toxic. I just go for Woodhammer. I'm trying to put some damage onto the Langarus. This way, assuming that the Langarus isn't choice, which I'm assuming he isn't because he went for classic, yeah. So he's got choice or anything. I wanted to see what he was going to do. I wanted to just, you know, I, I really wanted to go into circuitry and hit Hidden Power, or click rather, click Hidden Power Ice and destroy Langarus's career. Unfortunately, I kind of screwed that one up as you see. I went into Rhea there and then the Earthquake 
destroys circuitry. I'm really sad. I really wanted to use circuitry and we just didn't. It was so useful because of Grenada and Grenadus. So, you know, that's a huge waste. Unfortunately, he gets the critical hit, but I somehow survive it. And then just go for the Stone Edge and finish him off. He goes into uh, Magnezone, which is perfect because the Stealth Rocks are up, and so his ability, Sturdy, if he ever has it, you don't know yet, but it's broken. Goes for the Volt Switch. He lost me out, but this will give me a free switch and Torterra. I really need Torterra so I can handle Mugsdale. I go for Synthesis. I am faster. And we see Substitute on Mugsdale, which is interesting. I don't think I've seen Mugsdale use Substitute before, and we kind of see uh, either my opponent misclicked or he thought that that Earthquake will take it out. Yeah, Mosdale is really good with his scam, Stamina ability there, if I can say it right. It's really good offensively also, so I have to keep that in mind. He goes back into Landorus, and that was a good play, um, but I just go for another Warhammer. Yeah, the Incubate is really kicking in because all that damage is just not doing enough. So I need to save Torterra for the most sale. We're going to go into Corbett. We got his Earthquake, which is awesome. But now I need to... I need to use Defog. I am pressured to use that move now, even though my skill thoughts are gone. And it's most likely I'm not going to get those up again on my side or on my opponent's side, but that is okay. We see Rock Slide hit. Crobat, and this is a defensive Crobat, so this should not do very much. And plus, I'm going for Roost, so it's not going to do nearly as much as before, which is great. And we see Slush Bomb. It's going to work out here because we poison the most ill. Isn't that great? That's the whole reason I'm using Slush Bomb Crobat. So we can poison. Granted, I could use Toxic, but, you know, I want to be creative. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. He, he um, over predicts here. Tries to hit the Arcanine, I guess, and maybe Torterra, because, you know, Torterra is my favorite to use here against Mudsdale. But uh, we survive that hit, and that means we get some more chip damage to the Mudsdale. And yes, I know the Stanima is in effect, but this will give my other Pokemon some breathing room because with all the chip damage and the poison it's going to make it easier for my sail to go down with my attacking moves if you know what I'm talking about because you know it's, it's working out here in this video it's, it's, it's working you see we just get a critical hit so all that was like, I wanted to get all that damage onto the most tail so it's easier. And then we get a critical hit next turn, so all that did not matter. Because the critical hit was there. Wow. All right, so we see Landris use Earthquake. He's faster than me, that's why. And we go into Reaclis now. He goes into Majorna. I have not really touched Majorna that much. I know what sets Majorna run. It's just a matter of trying to take it out and just trying to make sure that it does not set up on me or destroy my entire team. I've had that happen before, where Majorna would set up Calm Mind, Shift Gear, and Sword Stance, I guess. Basically, that's what troubles me with Majorna, setting up and doing all that to ruin, basically ruin lives for everyone. But we see a little bit of a skull war here, but I'm just gonna get out of there. Going to Arcanine, because I'm pretty sure I can go with a Flare Blitz. Now that he's going for Flash Cannons, this will be a great opportunity to do that. Unfortunately, we have Landorus still in the back, and you know, Magnezone, so, you know, Magnezone is okay. I just have to click for it, so I'm done. So basically what I'm trying to do is sacrifice Miraculous 
go back into Arcanine, finish him off, and then finish off Magnezone. But my opponent predicts this, sacrifices his Magnezone. Not yet, but he will. And then he's going to intimidate me back, and then he's going to end up surviving my extreme speed, because that's all I can use, because I believe Langorus is faster than Arcanine in general, but man, so close. I thought I had this in the bag, but we come out real short. A 36 turn battle, which turned out to be a great one. So, um, what do you guys think of this video? I mean, what should have I done to win this battle? I, my guess is that, you know, I screwed up on circuitry. If I had circuitry in the back, made the match a little more interesting, I would say. But other than that, I think this was just a great battle to kind of go over, and I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, well, that's it for now. If you like this video, like the video and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Have a great day.